There was puddles, there was urine smell, there was rats, there was rough sleepers everywhere. Where we're walking to now, at its very worst, we had 17 tents. Lorraine's team of volunteers has been helping homeless people in East London for five years. But during lockdown, everything changed. The council placed everybody into hotels. Now, if you look around, you cannot see one homeless person. And it just shows you what can happen with money. Within three days, they ended homelessness. Newham Council said 320 rough sleepers are currently in accommodation. Lorraine's team has been feeding and supporting many of them, including Mick. I was the last coming off the streets. It makes me cringe now. I used to come round here to eat, to sleep. I was addicted to crack and heroin, and I spent the last two years in and out of prison on the streets mainly again, going to prison for somewhere to live, getting clean, coming out, there's nothing. This is where I lived for a number of, no, a number of years on and off. There's someone living here at the moment, I bought the man some clean bedding yesterday. I've been clean since March, I'm engaging, and I'm worried that once this pandemic finances run out, where are all these people in hotels going to go? There's going to be a new influx of homeless, chaos, drug addiction, crime, violence, if we don't put something in place now. Lorraine works from a makeshift base, sorting and delivering donations. I think that's probably where my passion comes from, you know, because I've been there. I was homeless in 2000. I had a lovely job in City Airport. I had a lovely flat, boyfriend, everything. And through personal reasons, I decided one day to get up and go, check myself into a hotel, and it was the worst experience of my life. Newham Council said this temporary accommodation will continue into the new year. Longer term options are being developed, but rely on more government investment. The council told us voluntary groups, faith groups and local businesses have been incredible. With the virus entering a second wave, we will need to continue to work with these groups as we approach the winter months. We're not having them go back on the streets. Why should they have to return back to the streets when they've already been given that stepping stone? They're looking better, they're groomed, they've got nice clothes on, they look well, they're a different colour. She's fed us. She supported us. I couldn't ask for anything more rewarding. Making change and seeing people smile. Jamie Morland, BBC London, Newham.